Russell Westbrook has made it clear that his plan is to be back with the Lakers next year, or at least that he's going to opt into his $47 million player option for the 2022-2023 season. What happens after that, however, will be the Lakers' choice. And while it feels unlikely that either party would actually want to run things back after a truly disastrous first year together in Los Angeles, if the team can't find a trade for Westbrook this summer and are dead set against bringing him back, one other option they could utilize is the wave and stretch provision of the collective bargaining agreement. By stretching Westbrook, they could cut him at any point between July 1st and August 31st and spread the final year of his deal over the next three seasons, essentially splitting up his massive final year into three slightly more manageable 15.6 million cap hits, a choice that would potentially allow them to afford to keep Malik Monk. GM Rock Palinka utilized that move before to get rid of Luo Dang and free up cap space. But there is no reason for Westbrook or anyone in his camp to admit they would take less money to bail out of Los Angeles at this point, just like the Lakers have no motivation to announce that they will consider paying Westbrook his entire salary to play for another team. So obviously, take all of this posturing with a big grain of salt. But it's also worth noting that just buying Westbrook out wouldn't get the team any extra cap, room, or anything. Westbrook's cap hit would be the same unless they stretch it. They just save a bit of coin on ownership final bill by buying them out, so there's no reason for them to do this. Oh wait, never mind. They definitely consider that then. But in all seriousness, a buyout or stretching Westbrook were never likely to be the Lakers' first option for how to handle this from the get-go. The safer bet is that the Lakers will try everything in their power to trade him when the NBA draft draws closer and more teams are open for business. If they can't find a deal for Westbrook then, and his presence on the roster lingers into August, then a buyout or stretching talk might start to become more of a real consideration after months, long games of high stakes of chicken. Until then, however, all of this feels like necessary information, but on options that weren't likely going to be at the top of the team's priority list anyway. The Lakers will find a way to ship out Russell Westbrook anywhere else other than keep him in LA next season, and the big rumor has it that Charlotte could be a potential landing spot.